Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Brazen Brazil for Victoria 2. We're slowly sieging through Transvaal. Um, our war score is actually at 66% already, so... Just a, probably one more occupation might do it. They would not accept becoming our puppet yet. But, that's okay. The life rating here is, is 15. So we won't be able to colonize any of this unless we knock out this technology and then two more technologies and then discover the, the thing. So we're, we're a decade behind, which is my fault, of course. Of course, we're not really a great power, so the just the idea of even being in that game is kind of crazy. Peace offer? Excellent, we accept. Damn it, you see, I never understand the, these these terms. Okay, so they are. They are like our puppet. So that means that we are going to be able to tax them. No. Our, what do, they take on our color, but they are independent. Do we get the precious metal? That's what I really care about. Gold. No. We're not getting any gold. No precious metals, so... Yeah, all that that really does is it just gives us access to their RGOs, which is still good, and it gives us the border, so okay, I guess I'm happy. Probably have no truce with Sokoto. What kind of goods do you have in here? Nothing else that I really care about. But having more people, always good. This whole region here. Could be taken in one war. That would be 50, 90, 100, 115, 160, probably roughly like 155, 160,000 people. How long is our truce? They have no truce. Make a puppet. Now, I wonder why we weren't allowed to demand concession from the other guy. Are they considered civilized? Yeah, they're a civilized nation. That's the difference. And Sokoto is uncivilized. Okay, well... I like demand concession a lot more. Please don't get caught. Please don't get caught. Please don't get caught. Just one time, please don't get caught. Please. Damn it. <laughs> Damn you, game. I just want to be able to go, you know, I just want to conquer people. That's all there is to it, okay? I'm amazed, you know, why are we have, why is this? They're like fully, or <laughs> you have full organization. Even though I'm not paying you anything. How is that possible? I don't know. I just don't know. Let's get some more railroads going. Somebody's trying to do something against Egypt. That's my area. It's my turf. What are they thinking? Okay, so our army should be roughly up that way-ish by the time we get to CB. War justification, yeah, we're like 67%. The Sokoto Menace, yes, sweet. Cassus Belly, uh, speed is always good. I like that. It's too bad that didn't happen before we got caught. Potentially not getting us caught at all. Would have been nice. More railroads. Railroads are getting complete. Lakoja. Alright, so we got our CB. So Lakoja. So I think the great thing about letting the capitalists do it too is they build them in the in the most efficient order. You know? Because we have 167 169,000 people working this RGO. 
And so they, they built this one first, which is where we're going to get the most benefit from it, which is smart. Good job, capitalists. Hail capitalists. I mean, we want them in every, every region, but... Okay, where's that army? Come on, guys. Get up here. This would probably be better if it was, um... You know, like two infantry, one cavalry, one artillery. Or one engineer. A little unsiv beat stick. These guys are still not colonizing, so even though somebody has that tech, they don't seem to be doing it. Okay, so cool. We got that technology. We need to go to culture. We gotta go straight for mission to civilize. So let's do it. I mean, there's just... We have to. Other technologies might be better, but that one is what I want, so. Let's go ahead and declare war on you. Demand concession. Uh, we want Nigeria. Yeah, we want Nigeria. Proceed. You should have just given up. You should just have offered to accept vassalization directly. I forget. Or maybe I never learned. What determines how difficult it is to siege something? I would love to see some more numbers about this. Is it based on the population? Or is it just based on... The size of my army. There's got to be some relationship between the size of the thing you're sieging and... They have literally no military. I feel so... I almost feel bad. I almost feel bad for them. But then again, I don't. They belong part of our country. It's a lot of able-bodied young men. Now this population, is this showing the number of workers or the number of total people? Well, I mean, because we have 11.31 million total population with 2.82 million adult males, it would make sense to me that this 39.95... 187.8, yeah. That's showing the working population. So we're picking up 300,000 or 150,000. That's like 5% more people. Just for taking this thing from them. Well worth it. Come join us. And we're going to get some inventions soon to, um, to improve our military combat as well. Literacy is rising. Center for Brazilians who can't read good is working. <laughs> I wonder if, um, can we see, like, infrastructure for other countries? Yeah. Infrastructure is at 32%. So if I click through, I can... I can see where they're at. Most of the USA doesn't have railroads. Haha! -ha. Brazil is going to get railroads first. We get all the steel. Yay! Supply consumption goes up, but we get better attack values. It's good. It's good, it's good. Colonial power is up to 145. Not very much. We need more boats. Build navy. I think it was actually the uh, iron clad that was the best. But Man of War will have to work. I really feel like it should show the uh, the amount of colonial power that they provide. I'll have to go look it up between this video and the next. Just to verify I'm doing the right one. War of Nigerian concession. We're already at 8%. Why don't you just give me what I want? You know I'm going to win. This darn little bankrupt factory thing is always going to be there. And it's this one factory that I keep on... That I, I stopped subsidizing that keeps on flashing that thing at me. Maran Hao. 
So if we just felt like subsidizing it, then... There are no employees here. Let's just shut it down. There are no work- there is no workforce. Besides, if I shut it down, they'll- Yeah, I'm just gonna shut it down. Sorry to get pop-ups about it. So now there are 22 craftsmen who are unemployed, but maybe they'll move. Maybe we'll see a project to build a factory there now that'll actually be profitable. Are there any other factories that are not profitable? Can we sort by profit? That'd be awesome. That's not very significant. Paper mill. Like subsidizing factories that aren't profitable. Maybe this one's only not profitable because it's so small. I don't fully understand how factories function. I think we need to... Like, why is this one profitable and the other one's not? Must be because of the throughput. got base output of 100 plus the factory tech of 1%. So base output's 101 multiplied by throughput of 123 because of basically infrastructure. The infrastructure's helping out. Infrastructure should help out this one. And yet it's just not making money to make it. It's not worth making. So, But we need it. Just because it's not making a profit doesn't mean we don't need the, the goods. Or maybe we don't. I mean, maybe that's maybe that's how you're supposed to do it. Like, are we using fertilizer? What is fertilizer even used for? It's used by... It's produced by artisans and by the factory. It's used by farmers. Our farmers are using 2.99. I mean, I know what fertilizer does. <laughs> I sounded like a retard a second ago, but... <laughs> I mean, like, in the game, what does it do? So it's used by farmers to f do fields, and it's used by artisans to make explosives. Or we could just have an explosives factory. So the farmers are using fertilizer. Got it. So let's go check out a state that's got farmers and see if... Like, grain. That's farming. This is going to show fertilizer on there? No. It's just used. Well, let's check production... Fertilizer. We are producing 0.32 fertilizer each day. Our artisans are producing 2.93. Total produced, total used. So we're, we're producing just a little tiny bit more than we need. So yeah, like we need that fertilizer factory. Even if it's not making a profit, we'll keep it open. We're using the fertilizer. For, you know, for, for the fertilization. <laughs> Shouldn't you just be able to take the cows? Just take the damn, just take the poop from the cows right here and just put it on the, put it on the fruit. Put it on the, put it on the grain. It's pretty simple. Point A to point B logistics right there. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to continue playing now. Ideological thought, cool. Those poor craftsmen are going to have nothing to do. While I wait for that factory to open up. Naval base. Oh, hey, can we build a naval base over here? No. Are there any more available naval bases? These colors in dashed lines confuse the hell out of me. Railroad. Railroad. Naval base. Look at that. Colonial power go up. Trouble is brewing. 
Okay, next naval base takes us up to 205. Hot damn. Okay, union busting. Um, do you want to become more militant socialists or all rich? Become more conscious. Yeah, we'll do that one. I think the crisis might actually fire. How's our siege going? I, I'm thinking we can't conquer the capital until we have all of the other ones taken out. But we'll end up conquering this whole country. Eventually. More railroads. Railroads galore. Let's, um... Yeah, let's finance these two railroads, and let's also finance as much of this thing as we can. And we've, uh, won our second occupation. You should just be willing to give up now, you know. You should. You're not smart enough to, but you should be. Railroads! Railroads everywhere. I don't like newspapers. I think they're dumb. Okay, so we have another national focus, and then we're just going to go straight for this one for the mission to civilize. Now, what do we want to use this extra national focus on? Probably just going to be more craftsmen, really. Every now and then, I do think we should probably consider doing, um, like, soldiers focus. And I should also check on administrative efficiency. Shortcut key U. Ah, I learned. Make sure our administrative efficiency is good. We've got really poor administrative efficiency over here. So this is bad. So I guess for now... Oh, it's just one big region, too. Total population is what? 16,000. It's not very much. Let's, uh, we'll take... We'll cure some bureaucrats from Minas Geras. See if we can get that going. I don't I don't think I want to pay them anymore. We just need to do a little bit of focused growth. Okay, got a dimension, an invention, and an election. Alright, cool. I'm gonna take a break here. I think things are going okay. I haven't I haven't seen too much colonization happening yet, so. That's good. Maybe we'll have a chance. We're only 9,000 research points away, and then a couple inventions. Mission to Civilize, again, somebody definitely has it because of that check, that little green asterisk says that any great power in any neighboring country, so one of our neighbors has it. Which means we'll be very likely to pick it up quickly. We'll have a 20% chance of getting it per month. Alright, I'll see you again in the next video. See you soon.